Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, I am Robbie Domingo. And here is what I do every day round the clock. Here we go. So, I start my day at around 8 a.m. I wake up next to my brother because we share the same room. But the real reason is, ayo namin na matulog separately. Kasi takot kami sa ibig. Okay. <laughs> I start off my day getting my phone before I wake up. Just like the usual millennials. Wow, millennials. I would just send two letters to my Joa. I'll say hi, and then if she replies, then kompleto na araw ko. Oh, The club ng kumot, ayos ng kama, and then I go to uh, the comfort room. Whenever I hear the beautiful voice of Mang Edgar, Taho! Taho! I would immediately uh, call at the Indai and I would say, Didai! Patahok si Mang Edgar, pabili na taho! So, at around 8.30, I would have that, that taho together with my ice-cold coffee. Oh, sarap! And then I would wait for around 30 minutes para ma-digest and as I have that moment para sa akin, I would turn on the TV in order to watch the finals of NBA or the news while I'm on my uh, bicycle. So I got a spinning bike which I acquired during the pandemic and I got inspired by, by Catherine Bernardo. I'll be done at around 10. Uh, I would check my email naman. I would uh, reply to all these inquiries coming from Star Magic, all these clarifications for certain projects. After that, I would freshen up and siguro at around 10 o'clock, 10.30, doon na magkisimula yung series of meetings. And usually, I would start it off with a meeting with a business partner. And during the pandemic, we kicked off this restaurant called Oink. The food is good, so I invite everyone. Shameless plug over here. Sometimes I have something for online stuff, but the best thing that I that happened, I got to invest in different equipment. But in 12, I have my lunch together with my family. Favorite meal depends with what my parents would love to eat. My mom is a pedia, my dad is a surgeon. Dito sa bahay, si papa became this halamano, and then my mom. Not just a dual citizen, but a multi-citizen because she's a Filipina, a senior citizen, and because of the K-drama, she became Korean. With all the... After that, I talked to my brother about certain vlogs that I owe him a lot monetary <laughs> because of the things that he did. By 3 o'clock, I would turn on the news again, ANC, and watch the rundown. And then do my usual routine when it comes to working out. I've been doing the, it's called the One Punch Man training, wherein I do 100 push ups, 100 sit ups, 100 squats, 1000 jumping jacks. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> naman. Ang puti. Sa mahay lang talaga ako go work out. I would finish at around 5 and then play with my dogs. We named them Alpha, Beta, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, and then G. <laughs> and then H. Pag ating naman ng 6 o'clock, uh, we would prepare for dinner and then simula na ng uh, TV Patrol. <laughs> yeah, my, my family is glued sa television. It goes to show that whatever happens, we are. Kapamilya forever. Yeah, 8.45 to 10 o'clock or 11, that's reserved for her. Oh. <laughs> Talk about anything and everything. Our day, truth be told, between the two of us, shy mas praning, and that is good. Whenever I say, can I can I go to your house? Uh, can I meet you? Can I take you out on a date? Speaking of, do you have work? I would often say yes, and she would say no. Focus on the quarantine protocols. Be responsible. I got a good job. Oh. And then there, um, I would end my day calling her up, uh, saying, 
goodbye and good night and I love you. Aww. And then secretly, I would play Mobile Legends <laughs> till I fall asleep. And then I would call it a day at around one. <laughs> so imagine hours of playing or maybe watching something. That's how my day ends. And that's basically it, you guys. Hopefully, you can uh, join me next time as I give you more sneak peeks in my life. All right? That is Robbie Dee's Life in a Day, only here on Round the Clock.